KBRS Tile Shower Systems are North America's most trusted solutions for building durable, leak-free tile showers. KBRS has the unique ability to manufacture custom-sized tile shower pans to any shape, size, and with any drain location that your design may require. We also have a large selection of standard sizes to choose from, along with all the additional components that you'll need to successfully build a waterproof tile shower that will last a lifetime. Now let's start the installation. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to install a KBRS shower slope and a double hard curb on a two-wall corner application. Once the shower slope, hard curbs, and the wall's backer board have been installed, we will show you how to easily apply the KBRS Shower Seal Waterproofing System to the entire shower area, creating a durable, seamless, waterproof substrate that is ready to be surfaced with any decorative tile that you can imagine. You'll need the following tools. 3 quarter inch notch trowel, supplied. Measuring tape. Caulking gun. Skill saw. Hand saw or miter saw. Level. Paint roller. 4 inch paintbrush. Drain installation. A KBRS shower slope connects to most common residential tile shower drains. Custom drain connections for larger commercial tile shower drains, similar to the one pictured here, are available upon request. The subfloor must be level, sound, and free of dirt and debris. The tile shower drain must be properly installed. Contrary to some methods shown on the internet, tile shower drains should not be recessed into the subfloor. This is not a proper method for installing a tile shower drain. This method is not recommended by KBRS, nor tile shower drain manufacturers. Always follow the directions of the manufacturer. Proper drain installation is crucial to a successful, watertight installation. For this video, we'll be using an OD tile shower drain. To properly install an OD tile shower drain, cut a 4.5 inch hole in the subfloor. Prior to placing the drain body into the subfloor, apply a bead of polyurethane sealant to the bottom perimeter of the drain's flange. Place the drain body into the 4.5 inch hole and firmly press into place. Please note, the drain can be connected to the plumbing system from either above or from below the subfloor, depending on your specific requirements. Once firmly installed in the hole, the drain body should be level and the top of the drain's flange should be about 3 8 inch above the subfloor. Shower Slope Installation Though not required, it is extremely helpful to mark lines on the subfloor, indicating the areas where the slope and curbs will be installed. Doing so will give you a good visual of the final assembly layout and help you obtain accurate measurements. We will be using this method for this installation. The curbs will be installed between these two lines. This area is where the slope will be installed. Here's a great tip for finding the center of the drain. Use two rubber bands around the bolts to accurately locate the center of the drain body in the subfloor. Next, measure from the center of the drain body to the inside lines traced on the subfloor and from the center of the drain to the stud walls. Check for accuracy and record these measurements. Now it's time to transfer these dimensions to the shower slope. Starting from the center of the shower slope's drain hole, mark all four measurements on the slope. Position a straight edge over each mark and draw a line parallel to the shower slope's perimeter. Repeat until all lines intersect. Now it's time to cut the shower slope to fit the installation area. Each KBRS shower slope is manufactured slightly oversized and has a 3-inch cut zone around the perimeter. These two features allow you to trim the slope to accommodate for out-of-square walls, a smaller shower area, and for positioning for slightly offset drain locations. Any one or all sides can be trimmed using a skill saw. Secure the shower slope so that it can be safely cut to size. Always wear safety equipment when cutting the shower slope. Using a skill saw, safely cut along the lines until all sides have been trimmed. Dry fit the shower slope to ensure proper fit. Trim again if required. It's now time to install the shower slope. Using a 3 quarter inch notch trowel, spread modified thinset onto the subfloor where the slope will be installed. A plastic 3 quarter inch notch trowel is provided with each shower slope for this step. 
When spreading thin set, hold the trowel evenly at a 45 degree angle to the subfloor. Ensure that the top of the thin set is flush with or slightly above the top of the drain's flange. Ensure that the area where the slope will be installed is completely filled with thin set. Next, apply a generous bead of KBRS Shower Seal Polyurethane Sealant to the outside perimeter of the drain's flange. Now carefully set the slope in place. You'll want to firmly embed the slope into thinset by walk around. Using a level, check to ensure that all sides of the slope are level. To complete the installation of the drain, replace the drain's clamping ring and firmly tighten collar bolts. Do not over tighten. You will want to remove any excess thin set from the edges of the shower slope and the subfloor. Backer board installation. Now it's time to install the wall's tile backer board. Mark a line on the perimeter of the KBRS shower slope, indicating the junction where the wall's backer board and slope will meet. Apply a bead of shower seal polyurethane sealant to the area where the bottom of the backer will meet the slope. Position the edge of the backer board over the sealant and lower into place. Attach backer board to walls according to the manufacturer's instructions. Tool the excess sealant using your finger or a putty knife. An important tip, the KBRS shower seal sealant is extremely tenacious. It will aggressively stick to anything it touches. We highly recommend that you wear rubber gloves to perform this procedure. Now you can begin the process of installing the KBRS hard curbs. Hard curb installation. Installing the KBRS hard curbs is a simple process. The KBRS hard curb has a self-sealing polymer anchoring cap that seals around the screws used to anchor shower enclosure hardware. When installing a hard curb, ensure that the anchoring cap remains face up. First, mark your cuts. Mark a line on the inside face of the curb where the curb and slope intersect. A bead of polyurethane sealant will be placed below this line when installing the hard curbs later in the installation. Next, cut the hard curb to fit the area. Spread your modified thin set using a 3 quarter inch notch trowel in the area where you will be installing the KBRS hard curb. Next, apply a generous bead of the KBRS polyurethane sealant below the line that was marked earlier. When joining curbs, you need to apply sealant to one of the ends where the curbs will butt. Now you are ready to install the curbs. Place the curb on top of thinset. Firmly press the curb against the edge of the shower slope, allowing sealant to squeeze out. Firmly push down on the curb, embedding curb into thinset. Using a level, check to ensure that the top of the curb is sloped toward the shower area. Using your finger or a putty knife, tool some sealant into any joints where the curbs join together. Also, remove any excess sealant that may have squeezed out where the curbs and slope join. Finally, remember to remove any excess thin set from the hard curb and subfloor. Shower Seal Waterproofing Installation Now let's waterproof the KBRS shower slope, KBRS hard curb, and the backer board. First, apply poly sealant to all joints no greater than one quarter inch. If you have larger gaps, fill them with thin set. Next, you will want to cover all corners and seams with gauging fabric. Measure your corners and seams and cut the gauging fabric to length. You will then need to embed the fabric by first coating the surface with the KBRS shower seal waterproofing using a paintbrush. To attach the gauging fabric, Press the gauging fabric into the wet KBRS shower seal waterproofing. When installing the gauging fabric in corners, fold the fabric at 45 degree angles to ensure a solid fit. Once every seam and corner has been covered by the gauging fabric, coat the gauging fabric with KBRS shower seal waterproofing using a paintbrush. Next, using your paintbrush or roller, coat the entire surface of the KBRS shower slope with KBRS shower seal waterproofing. The KBRS shower seal waterproofing will turn a dark green when it is dry. Now you are ready to tile your KBRS shower slope and hard curb. To purchase